Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to part two of how to solve inequalities. So for this segment, I'm going to be focusing more on the different types of numbers and how they affect inequalities. So as you can see on the right hand side in orange, I have the three different types of numbers, natural numbers, integers and real numbers. I'll now explain what each of those different types of numbers are. So natural numbers are positive whole numbers. That means they don't include decimals or fractions and it can only be from one upwards. So it doesn't include any negative numbers or the number zero. So it can be one, two, three, four, etc. Then integers are positive or negative whole numbers, which means they're very similar to natural numbers in that they don't include fractions or decimals, but they do include negative numbers and the number zero. Then finally, real numbers, they are positive or negative, but they are not whole numbers. They can include fractions and decimals. So for example, minus 0.127 is a real number because it has a decimal at the end. It is not a whole number. And as you can see, natural numbers are denoted by n, integers by z, and real numbers by or. Okay, on to our question now. So you can see that we have four number lines. Some of them have solid lines, other have dots. So what do we know that these type of numbers are? Well, natural numbers and integers are denoted by dots, but real numbers are denoted by a solid line. So if you see a solid line, you know it has to be a real number. So starting off with our first one here, that's done for us. We can see the solid line, which tells us immediately that it's a real number. Hence, we take or. Then when we have to write out the inequality, we always write x in the middle, and then we have minus three on the end and plus two at the top. So we write in those numbers. Next, we have to look at what type of inequality signs we're going to be using. So we see that there's an open circle on two. That means that x is less than two. So it includes everything up to, but not including two. So for example, 1.999 is included, but not two. Hence, we show an open circle. So the open circle means everything up to, but just not including that number. Then we see x is greater than or equal to. So that extra dash means it can also be equal to the number. Hence, why three is a solid dot, because it's greater than or equal to three. Okay, on to the next one. So we can see that we have dots for the next one, which means it's either a natural number or an integer. So we can see then negative numbers are included because we have minus three, minus two, minus one. So that means it has to be an integer because integers are positive or negative whole numbers, but natural numbers can only be positive. Okay, on to drawing our inequality now. We put X in the middle and our numbers at either end are minus three and one. So X can be greater than or equal to minus three because it's highlighted and X can be less than or equal to one because that's also highlighted. On to the next one. So again, we have dots. So this means on first glance, it can either be natural numbers or integers. And we see we have one, two, and three circled. So it's definitely gonna be a natural number because they're positive whole numbers, but it can also be integers. So it can be either of the two. So we can actually tick both. Then we write our X in the middle and our one and three on either ends. So x is greater than or equal to one, but less than or equal to three. Okay, we're getting the hang of it now. On to the last one. It's a solid line, which means it must be an element of or, a real number. So again, we write our x in the middle and our numbers either end, minus two and four. Okay, so we can see that there's an open circle for both. This means that it is greater than or less than these numbers not equal to. Therefore, x is going to be greater than minus two and less than four. If we had the equal to signs in as well, they would be solid dots, but they're not solid dots. They are open, which means that x has to be greater than or less than both of those numbers.